Thomas here with Much Profs, gonna give you another how-to video. Today we're doing something a bit different. Uh, I had a person recently ask if I could make a skull, uh, one that you could wear, and I wasn't quite sure where to go with that. So, kind of throwing this build out there, about halfway through the design, I decided to make mine Spider-Man type themed, but with a twist. With Halloween coming up and Dia de los Muertos in November, I thought it was the perfect time to get this one out there. So if you would like to build this and put your own spin on it just before the um, evil spirits roam the earth, or good spirits depending on the day, <laughs> um, we are going to attempt to make a skull Spider-Man themed Dia de los Muertos decorated style helmet. Yeah. Let's get to building. Cut out and trace the pattern I've provided in the description of the video and trace them onto your materials. I'm using 6mm EVA for this build. Heat forming time. Just heat up your foam and push it over something round. This adds shape to your parts and makes the seam lines pull less against each other. If you overdo it, you can always heat up a part and adjust it later. I tried to keep the template simple so that there are a few parts to this build. Hooray! I laid out the template on the left hand side over there so you can see how the parts line up with each other. Hopefully this is helpful. I glue up each half separate, then join them once they are both done down the middle. If I try and glue it all up at once, the contact cement loses its tackiness by the time I reach the end.
I wanted to add a bit of a brow line, so I cut partially through the foam on the inside and back filled the gap with some hot glue. As I do this, I'm holding the brow out so that it stands out. Then to speed up the process of the hot glue cooling, I hit it with a can of air upside down. It lets out a burst of cold air that super chills the glue. Then I went in with my Dremel and rounded off all the edges. I also added in the alveolar process, that's the bump above the teeth, and I sanded back a little bit above the zygomatic, that's the cheek bone, just to make those things stand out a little more. The skull has a lot of sutures around it. These are special fibrous joints found only in the skull. They're the little zigzaggy lines all over the surface. I just looked at an anatomical image of a skull to mimic those lines, then I burned them in and with a flat shading bit on my wood burner. No joke, this is how I made the teeth. I will pattern this out for you guys, but literally I just put a couple bumps and put a flat line underneath it. I used my Dremel to shape the teeth, then the wood burner to refine it a little bit more. Dip. 
I've had quite a few people ask me how I do a bone looking paint job. It's actually a lot simpler than you think it is. You push in the paint into the cracks then wipe most of it off. I use off-white, burnt sienna, burnt umber, dark brown, and a little black. Usually this is a little bit too dark once I wipe off most of the excess, so I just go back over the top of it with a dry brush of off-white and white mixture until I'm happy with the coloring. If you just wanted to do a skull color, then stop here. I added some brown texture with spray paint over foam padding for shelves, trying to give it a little bit of a fabric effect for the background of my Spider-Man web. Then I just took an acrylic paint pen and drew on some web details down the middle. On the sides, I decided to make it a little more sugar skull decorish and add spidey logos and filler details. Got these gem stickers at the dollar store for like 50 cents and thought it would be a great little detail to make it a bit more sparkly. Uh, totally unnecessary, but I really liked how it looked against the shades of brown.
and we are finished here is the end result overall i think it turned out pretty cool at any point in this design you could have easily stopped um, i thought about stopping after i just painted the skull and was like let's push it a step further um, putting on the the spider-man themed kind of dia de los muertos style the sugar skull type uh, decorations. I could have stopped there, but I, I wanted to add the jewels on it to make it even more so, so I took it a step further. I could go even further by adding a white film over here, maybe putting some glowing eyes. You could really run wild with this and totally make it something your own. Maybe you'll try and make this skull yourself and impress your friends with your creepy abilities to wear some ginormous person's head as a trophy slash set of armor yeah when i say it out loud it kind of makes it weird maybe you'll get some Yay! and inevitably they're gonna ask you how'd you make that you can give them one of these tell them much props i have a big head and um it's a little loose on me, but I think it's pretty cool. Peace out!